guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla. Today we are going to talk about the information that you need when you're taking a custom order. Now it doesn't matter if it's shirts, hats, uh, polos, I, sweaters, hoodies, Carhartt stuff, whatever. This is information that you need. We're gonna go over it all. I even created in Canva, um, well, I didn't create it from scratch. I used a template and then edited it to like what I am gonna talk about today. So I will leave that linked down below. We are going to go over it after I go over everything that you guys are gonna need. So don't feel like you have to like take notes or anything. I mean, you can if you want to, but I have this. You should be able to click the link down below and print it yourself. You're not gonna be able to edit it. You're just gonna be able to view it, but you should at least be able to print it. Um, or, you know, uh, just look at it and then create your own in a separate document, whatever. Um, but it's just a very basic order form. So we are going to talk about that as soon as we go over everything. So when you're taking a custom order, you obviously need to get as much detail as possible from the get-go. I just had to do this the other day and I feel like there's nothing worse than having to contact your customer again. I'll just give you the example that I just had to use. I have a customer that's ordering 12 boonie hats. I've never heard of a boonie hat. Apparently it's the same thing as a bucket hat. I'll leave a picture right here. And uh, I sent him a couple options because he was looking for a specific gray color. Well, I didn't realize that they came in two different sizes, small slash medium and large slash extra large. So I had to contact him, you know, two days after he originally placed his order and say, hey, um, just so you know, these come in two different sizes, which one would you prefer? That's something I should have noticed upfront, gotten the information upfront and not have to bug my customer again. Now, ultimately, overall, is it really that big of a deal? No, most people aren't gonna care, they're gonna be happy that you're doing your due diligence and getting you know, the information and getting them their product. But uh, in my mind, it still stinks that I had to reach out and bug them. I don't like having to do that, so I need as much information as possible right up front. So when somebody contacts you and says something very simple, like, hey, I'm looking to get some stuff for my business, and they just kind of leave it at that, what do you do? Because I've had that many times where it's like, hey, I wanna get some stuff. Cool, like what? <laughs> and so it's really, uh, you know, up to you to set the tone of how that conversation's gonna go. I usually say something along the lines of like, great, I offer a wide array of custom items. Are you looking for shirts, hats, bags, coffee mugs? What exactly are you looking for? Because a lot of times they don't really know, they just know they want cool stuff. So you need to go over what type of garments they want, any specific colors, do they want a specific brand? I have had a couple customers that are very specific on what brand they want, all the way down to you know shirts, hats, whatever, I want district shirts, I want new era hats, I want Carhartt beanies. Like they know exactly what they want. And honestly, that just makes my job easier. I have had to many times go into Canva and take screenshots of the shirts, the front, back, the specs, everything, uh, brand name, and send them over to customers to have them figure out what they want. I've sent, you know, gray next level shirts, gray district shirts, gray Gildan shirts, all with pictures, specs, everything for my customer to choose because a lot of times they don't know what they want. So it creates less work for me if they know exactly what they want. Um, so yeah. And then you're also going to need their logo before you can give an accurate price. You need to see how their, how detailed their logo is. Is it simple text that needs to be embroidered? Is it a full scale, like seven color image? Those are things that you need to know before you can give an actual quote. So you obviously also need to know quantity. How many hats do they want? How many shirts do they want? If they need short sleeve and long sleeve, how many of each? And then obviously quantities of each size. Sometimes there's 10 smalls, 15 mediums, 20 extra larges. You just never know. So you need to be as detailed as possible on what exactly they want. And then pay attention, like I just said with the boonie hats, with the different sizes. A lot of them are one size fits all, like the snapbacks, you don't need to worry about that. But there are some like the flex fits that have small, medium, and then large, extra large. So make sure you put it up front to your customer first, the size options so that they can tell you. 
Another thing that you need to know is if there are any custom colors that are needed. I just found this out the hard way on a uh, job that I did. It was actually the last video that I posted, the painter's jumpsuit with the balloon. Um, the colors in her logo, they were like copyright colors and they needed to be as exact as possible. So she came over and looked through my thread color book and picked out her colors. And unfortunately I was in a very short window of ordering. So I had to get them overnighted, which was like $80. So I lost out on a lot of money. Looking back, I should have charged for a custom color, but I was just really trying to land the job. I'm just being fully transparent here. So that really, really stunk. There was like a specific purple and a specific blue a specific tan that she needed and even though the threads were only you know what five dollars a cone at candle thread i still had to pay to get them overnighted that is something that needs to fall back onto your customer and i'm like i said totally preaching to myself here because i lost out on money on that just because i wanted to land that job and be able to put my name on that job um so yeah if there's any custom colors needed that needs to be noted and then it needs to be put onto the customer you know hey i have an extra uh ten dollar charge for custom colors that i don't already have in stock you know something like that and then you need to figure out if they want it embroidered or printed if they're ordering hats do they want leather patch hats do they want embroidered hats do they want acrylic patches how do they want their final product to look these are all all important details that you need to know uh, another very important detail that you need to know is the need by date. Do they need it in a week? Do they need it in two weeks? I usually have a 10 to 14 day turnaround on most of my orders. If it's a small order, I'll do five to seven days um, just because, you know, I know what I can handle in a day with homeschooling and managing my home. I know what my turnaround time is. If you do this full time, maybe your turnaround time is four days. You know that's obviously going to be custom to you in your business but if they need it sooner than what you can produce then you need to charge a rush fee if you're still willing to take on that job but if they you know are okay with your 10 to 14 day turnaround time then great but if they you know need it for a corporate event that's you know in three weeks you need to make note of that just so that if there's any delays on your end shipping delay product delay whatever you can communicate that to your customer and you know you guys can all be on the same page and then last but not least obviously contact info for your customer you need their name you need their phone number you need an email you need their address so that you can accurately calculate sales tax um honestly i'm not sure if that varies state by state i know in nevada i have to collect sales tax unless it's you know somebody reselling um so yeah so that is all information that you need i use quickbooks for my software so i have to have a physical address for somebody to be able to accurately calculate that sales tax and it's just great to have on file for your customers in case anything goes wrong in case you have to i don't know sue somebody i don't know i've heard crazy stories but you just want as much contact information as possible so that you can get a hold of your customer. Maybe you need to ship them their stuff. I don't know, but you need as much contact information as possible. So now we're gonna go over that uh, form that I made and we're just gonna uh, fill out a fake order and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get all of this information up front and you can keep this, you know, however you keep your customers and files organized, you can just put this with their file, you have it forever, always reference back to it, and it's just great to have. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this okay, but this is what I came up with based on the information we just talked about. Name, I'm just gonna put my name. Kayla Krishi, order number. Uh, when I do, I don't really have order numbers as they come in. I just save, you know, my purchase numbers. But if you do, you know, maybe this is order one, two, five, seven. Uh, you know, however your ordering system is, how you keep track of them, that's what you're going to put there. Today's date, uh, five, five, two, four. Phone number. Sorry, internet, not giving you my phone number. We'll just leave that blank. Uh, email. Shop stitch and v at gmail.com address you know what to put there okay so we're gonna do type description quantity 
price method in total. And now this is not for your customer, this is for you. This is for you to create their invoice to send to them. So you don't have to show any of this to your customer. So this price, this can just be an estimate off the top of your head as you're getting the information, or you could just leave it blank, whatever. So type is where, where we're gonna put like garment type. So let's say I wanna order short sleeve shirts. Description, uh, logo front left chest. I always do FLC for front left chest and back quantity 12 price 22 method do they want this embroidered do they want it dtf do they want it screen printed i'm going to say dtf and then i'll add up the total later next um i want hats hats uh rectangle leather patch Quantity, 24. Price, 20. Method, leather patch. I know that's a little redundant, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, now I want hoodies. I want black. I guess up here we didn't add color, but that's another thing you would want up here too. Let's say black. Okay, and then so hoodies, black. Um, logo only on FLC and then they want 10 let's do 30 and these aren't what I would normally charge uh, I mean I guess the shirts maybe are the closest um, I'm just throwing out numbers okay and then uh, this is embroidery so I'm just gonna do EMB don't mind my chicken scratch handwriting okay so let's say I just want those three items I need by today's May 5th, let's say I need them by Memorial Day. So I don't know what day Memorial Day falls on this year. Let's just say 525, 24, custom colors, no, garment brand. Um, let's say I prefer next level. And then let's say hats are flex fit. Okay, order date, 55. Okay, so I started talking and then realized, I was like, hey, that's kind of redundant. But what I meant by order date right here is the order that you order your, the date that you order your supplies. So let's say this order was taken on 5-5, but I ordered all of my stuff on 5-6, okay? And then notes down here, this can be whatever you want. It can be uh, shirts and hats. San Mar, hoodies, Alpha Broder. Sometimes you can only find certain brands at you know one wholesaler. Like I've had to order from different wholesalers for one order because not every wholesaler carries all of the brands that you need. So this is a good way to keep notes of what you ordered from where. It can be, I, I mean obviously any sort of note that you could possibly need to write down, you have a big rectangle for it right here. You can also write your quantities for each size. I didn't leave a space for that up here. Um, just because these lines are so small and honestly, I thought it was just going to get too, like too much in one small space. So this note spot is where you can put quantities for each size. So like SS short sleeve, LS long sleeve, small 10, medium 15, you know, so on and so forth. So really use this note space to your advantage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys uh, learned how to take a custom order. I'm pretty sure I covered everything in here. Um, if there is something that I missed, leave me a comment down below. If there's a piece of information that you take when you're taking a custom order that I missed, leave it down below so that we can all learn from each other. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.